Hello there, I am Carolina Ramirez, joined by Marty and Sirius Madsen, for the special edition of the Border Collie What to Know for this week. Monday through Friday, January 2nd to 6th, our teacher work days. Students return to school on Monday, January 9th, Tuesday to Friday. Students have reported to their homeroom first to receive schedules and to pay fees. Beginning Monday, January 16th, students have resumed the regular schedule. Report cards for the first semester and third grading period will be distributed on January 31st. For any requests for schedule changes, students must submit their request via the bar scan available in classes and outside of guidance. Priority will be given to those changes that are based on academic performance based on first semester grades. Shout out to several members of the Tesla Worldwide Orchestra. On top of preparing for end of semester assessments, these students participated in a two part audition for honors ensembles. Tesla has 10 students that will participate in the All County All Region Ensemble. Two students auditioned and qualified for the Eastern Region Orchestra. These students are the first Tesla students since 2019. Congratulations to all of the students that participated. Shout out to Caden Bradford. He has earned the recognition of Young Marine of the Year. This is a very prestigious honor and we are proud of Caden's accomplishment. Check out the Tesla High School website to see his interview. On Thursday, February 2, 2023, our Advanced Placement Program will be hosting the AP Open House at 6.30 p.m. in the cafeteria. Come learn about the courses offered at Tesla, meet the teachers, and get more information about AP. There will be a raffle, door prizes, and pizza will be served for all attendees. All students interested in AP are encouraged to attend, and families are welcome. See you on Thursday, February 2nd at 6.30. Cap and gown pictures for seniors. Mid-year grads and early grads is scheduled to be taken on Monday of next week. Yes, the date has changed. Postcards with codes have been mailed by the company with instructions on how to schedule a time slot. Students need to park on the curb and enter the Couture Café. Our athletic boosters will host a semi-formal, February 18th. The theme is Hearts Aglow. This dance will take place in the Avalo Airlines Arena. Therefore, only 375 tickets are available for purchase. Tickets will be pre-sale only beginning Wednesday, January 25th, tomorrow, for $15. Tickets can be purchased in the front office during HR, lunch and after school until approximately 4.45. All school fees must be paid prior to purchasing a ticket and students that have received OSS or ISS as of January 17, 2023, will not be eligible to attend. Students and parents, please be aware that at any report of the possibility of threat will be investigated to its best in order to confirm or deny validity. Any connection to issuance of the threat comment, valid or not, shall result in disciplinary actions. These actions can result in, but not limited to OSS, report to law enforcement, referral to the Chaseville Santa Angela Public School System or district assigned long-term disciplinary action. In addition, any student that is identified as recording videos, and or pass on or post staff and student actions without consent and that impact the confidentiality of other students will receive a disciplinary action. This includes anything not first shared with the administration as an intervention. Please, don't do that. Wednesday, which is tomorrow, wrestling is at Sinclair and basketball is home against Sinclair. And Friday, basketball is home against East Chaseville. And one more thing, special thanks to Sheriff Labrador and Officer Doberman for filling in to help the buses whose drivers are out. This is Carolina Ramirez, along with Marty and Sirius Madsen, and that concludes the WTK for this week. Bye.